Hey friend, in this video, we are going to be painting a very cute snowy village, a Christmas time village where, so this cute little Christmas town is gonna have a church with a steeple and a barn, um, a chairlift, cause we all like to go skiing and a cute little like log cabin house, some glowy candle lit windows, trees in the background and snow and a very cute red truck pulling a Christmas tree. So if you're ready to paint to paint this cute village, then let's dive in. Alrighty then. So we are gonna paint this really cute vi Christmassy village or winter village scene. Um, we have a church that has a little steeple on it, a barn and a house. We even have a chairlift for some skiers and a cute red truck that's gonna be pulling a Christmas tree. Um, I already have my sketch down, so I'm just gonna show you quickly how I laid it out and how I sketched um, everything on the back side of this sheet of watercolor paper. If you haven't taken this tutorial on my YouTube channel, we'll link to it. Fun. Um, <clears throat> first, what you wanna do is kind of pick out where your horizon line is for the village. So we're gonna have a lot of trees in the background, even a sky and um, a lot of our ground area is gonna be this like smoky, cool blue color, really, really light. And we're gonna have snow collected like where the buildings are. So I'm gonna start with, you know, I'm gonna sketch a lot darker than I did on my actual sheet where I'm gonna be painting because I don't want the pencil lines to show up. So. Make sure if you are following the sketch that you're sketching really lightly. So I'm gonna start with the road that's going through the village and it's just a little S curve. And we're getting further away in the distance. So the road is getting smaller and then wider as we get closer to the foreground. And so I kind of just staggered my elements, my big elements like the church, the house and the barn like this, you can add more to it if you want to. But for our church, we're gonna start with the steeple. Just basically gonna start with a rectangle. Again, I'm sketching much darker than I normally would. And you're not gonna get your sketch perfect the very first time you do it. So make sure you sketch really lightly so that you can, for example, this line was going too low, so I had to sketch it over there, but. And then we're gonna have This just reminds me of geometry class and I just got a little bit of anxiety in my belly. I don't like that. Yeah. The Rainies are not mathematicians. No, I can do restaurant math because I was a server. So we have a rectangle, a squarish thing that has some geometry sides on it. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. A rhombus. Really? I have no clue. <laughs> A parallelogram. I remember the names of them. I don't remember any of those names, but now that you're saying them, I remember them. And then a triangle, a really long pointy one. Isosceles. <laughs> Is that another geometry word? That's a triangle. And Is it a triangle? An isosceles triangle. Wow, what do they mean? No clue. With a little, little pointy and maybe a cross, but, or you can just leave it pointy. And then we're going to extend. So this is the where the side of the church happens. But we're going to extend this because we're going to have a little stair moment up to the door. And they're going to come in like this. So here's our stairs. And then here's the bottom of our door. And our door. So we have stairs here. I'm doing this sketch very quickly. So obviously if you want it to be less wobbly looking and you want it to be more, you know, precise up to you. And then you can have a little window up here or you can do a Christmas wreath up here. Oh, so sad. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do this little window. For this one though, I did a little bit more detail which you'll see once I start painting. In each of these sections, you can kind of have like little ridges coming out, little little details, maybe a railing. Oh, 
Rip. It's because I'm sketching so dark so you can see. little railing with a window, boom. And then we have the sides of our church. So they're gonna come down, you can go here, boom. So it's just a little slanted, angled line. That was tough. And <laughs> try to mirror that or reflect that on the other side. So we could get that a little bit better, but this is just to get moving with this painting. And then you can have windows on either side. You could mirror this type of window down here if you wanted. Cute, there's your church. And then you can have darker color here, darker color there, and framing this little hallways, whatever situation. And instead of here, you could do Christmas wreath. You could do Christmas wreath right here, hanging on the windows. And then this is where your sky, your sky is gonna um, start. So you have your little hillside in the back, maybe some trees, some, you know, pine trees and a mix of other trees in the background. So your barn is going to go over here and it's basically got this like U shape, U shape for the roof. And you can make it more pointy. Seems like a quaint little town. It's a very quaint town, John Rainey. Barn and a church. I mean, just simple people, you know? I love it. These are my people. They are your people, your Wisconsin people. Mm -hmm. And then the barn door with the X on it. So again, you're lightly sketching all of this so that these lines aren't showing up. So we're gonna use some white gouache in this. If you don't have white gouache, um, then you just do like a black on top of that instead of on, on top of the door color instead of white. And then you could have a cute little window here. And then we have our roof. Something to keep in mind is how it's sitting on the hill. So obviously this is a little off proportion, proportionate, proportions wise, proportions. Proportionally. Perspective. Perspective. Yeah, perspective. Proportions. I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> P now. word. Like this would be angled a little bit more, but we're not going for realistic. We're going for cute. So it doesn't have to be the exact perspective. Get a couple more trees in there. Tree, 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 tree. Just so you, you see what I'm doing here. And then right here is where I placed just a simple, cute, kind of gingerbread vibe house. So I'm just gonna start with a triangle. And the front of the house. So that's gonna stop here. And we got a snow covered roof moment. You could do just a door on the front, maybe a tiny little window or a Christmas wreath. Three little windows, keeping it simple. And then I also added a ski lift over here. So my house would probably be a little smaller and a little bit shifted to the left for that to really fit. But just to show you, it's a pole with a little T, T moment. And then another T and just a circle with a line and then two lines. Lightly sketch that in. And then we have snowy moments that we're gonna put in with white wash or you can just make sure to paint around this area. 
so that the white of the paper shows through. Our church is a little lopsided. Let's bring that down. And then we have a red truck zooming through the town. Maybe taking his Christmas tree from the Christmas tree lot back home, just over the hill. Love that. Just over the hill. And so I've got, to start with the truck, we're seeing the back of the truck and a little bit above ground. So we're gonna see the backside and on, um, inside of the truck a little bit. So we've got the bed of the truck Remember how you used to draw like cubes in school for days? Wow. Yeah, sure. I do. Like these cubes mm -hmm. where you're like square, mm -hmm. square, mm -hmm. line, 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 mm -hmm. line. That's what we're doing for the bed of the truck, but we're not doing the lines. We're just, so then this comes up for a wheel and then you got a bumper here. Bed of the truck. And then you'll come up for a rounded square window. A little hook shape. He's, Slide, he's definitely sliding. It's sliding. an icy road. Icy road. <laughs> Doing a little sliding. I just didn't want to show the butt of the truck because then people will be like, what is that? Just like a red thing with the bumper. Sure. You know? So you want to show the side a little bit. I mean, he could be parked over here. There's other options, but you've got a little truck. But there you go. So you've got your... You've got your tree moments, you've got your nature, you've got the church where all 20 people in this village attend every single Sunday. And someone has a barn. And there's also, I guess it's a ski town. So because I know I'm using white gouache for the snowy patches on the houses, near the houses and the buildings, um, I'm gonna cover my whole sheet, just avoiding the buildings with this really light smoky blue color. If you don't have white gouache, you're going to avoid where you did sketch in for the snow patches so that the white of the paper is your snow. So just keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up that smoky, smoky blue color, and it's gonna be cobalt blue and some burnt umber and lots of water. Maybe some phthalo turquoise too. So it's kind of like a greenish gray blue. And then I'm gonna grab mostly water on my brush and just a touch of that color. Wash this over my entire sheet of paper, just avoid the buildings for as best as I can. Christmas time mm -hmm. is here. This church is gonna be darker than this background color, so it's okay if I go over my lines a little bit. I just wanna make sure I don't paint on the windows because those are gonna be important to leave kind of clear. And then again, I'm gonna have some snow on the rooftops. I'm gonna use gouache for the white, so I can paint this color on the rooftops if I wanted to. But again, if you're just using watercolor, you definitely don't wanna do that. And this road is just gonna be a darker version of this color. So we can layer on top of that as well. So I'm working really quickly so I don't have any hard lines. Any hard lines, um, especially in the areas where we won't have, where I won't be covering it up with snow or anything. So I wanna make sure it all stays pretty wet. 
So I'm using my biggest brush, my size 16 brush. You could use an even bigger brush if you have one. This truck is gonna be a bright red, so it will definitely cover up. If I put this color over the truck, it'll cover that up once it's dry. And let's see, this is still wet up here at the top. So what I'm gonna do, if you have white gouache, yikes. I'm going to grab my size six brush and some white gouache and just kind of little sparkly snowflakes. You could use water, just water on your brush to do this. You could even sprinkle some table salt. I might darken some of this first so it shows up better. Let's do that again. Snow is falling. Just lovely. Just gives it that like magical dusting of snow look. We love a good dusting. Um, okay, so next we're going to wait for this to dry so that we can start painting in our village. Um, and these details are gonna all be, you know, wet on dry effect. Again, if you want that like magical snow look at the top, you can use just water on your brush if you don't have white gouache and just dot it in like I just did with the white gouache. You could even sprinkle some table salt on there and it will give it this like really cool can you get me some salt? Just a pinch of some. I don't have regular table salt because we're fancy over here, but this could work too. This Himalayan pink salt. And I'm kind of crushing it up in my hands or my fingers. And this just kind of activates like a, the water wants to escape from the salt. So when that dries, you'll see, hopefully this pink salt works, but the wetter, the better too. Okay, so now we're gonna wait for this to dry. I can probably start over here with my church. We're gonna just do the base layer first. So I'm gonna do like a similar color for my base layer, just a little more blue. And then my barn's gonna be a cute corally red color. Maybe we'll do like a gingerbread house vibe for this one. So we're going to paint in and avoid the windows, um, this lighter cobalt blue mixture. over the entire church. Again, just avoiding the windows. And I'm gonna outline these details with a darker version of this color once this base layer dries. What should we talk about? <laughs> you have to come up with it, I'm concentrating. Oh yeah, that makes sense. The church is cool. Thanks, John. I like the small town vibes. Yeah, that's for sure. This reminds me of the church in Mammoth. Mm. We have a couple Mammoth trips coming up. Sure do. I'm doing a van trip to Mammoth. I'm going to shred my new snowboard. With my dad. With Papa C. Who's a very good skier. Great skier. We're going to drive up there in his van. We're gonna shred all day, get some food, and sleep in the van. And that's about that. Next though, we're going to paint a barn, a cute little red barn. Speaking of, okay, no, sorry, teach. I do have a story that both relates to a barn and that mammoth trip that we were just talking about. <laughs> Barns and snowboards. But you teach first. I'm actually going to do a light pink. 
So if you don't have white gouache, I'm using Scarlet Lake and white gouache for the slight pink. But if you don't have white gouache, first of all, get some. Second of all, you just use water to lighten the color. So you could mix up a pink with opera rose and a lot of water. But we're gonna, or I am at least, gonna paint the barn using a light pink color. The reason for this is this truck is gonna be red, so I don't want too much red. I want like, I want this to look really colorful. And again, I'm just avoiding the windows and the door, because these are gonna be different colors. Are you done teaching? Yeah. Okay, so I have a story <laughs> about a barn and snowboarding. Um, for anyone just joining us, hi, my name is John. Hi. I'm Jenna's film guy, first, husband, second. <laughs> <laughs> she brought me in for filming. No, I'm just kidding. Begrudgingly. No, just kidding. Um, but I grew up in Wisconsin, small town, Platteville, for anyone wondering. Any viewers from Wisconsin, hello. Also, hello to all the other viewers. Okay, to the story. Yeah, geez. <laughs> I was at a friend's house who lived on a farm and it was snowing and there was a huge pile of snow that had built up. Actually, I think it was like tractored up to the barn. And uh, it might've even, it was either a weekend or maybe it was even a snow day. We were out there and we had these really crappy snowboards. <laughs> and we just, just we decided to climb to the top of the barn and snowboard off of the barn mm. into the gigantic pile of snow. And that's exactly what happened. And it was awesome. Oh, did anybody get hurt? No, surprisingly. I mean, we're talking a couple of middle school boys climbing to the top of an icy barn, snowboarding off. Someone definitely should have got seriously injured. This was the good old days. Yeah. When you didn't have teenagers scrolling TikTok and you did things that were probably dangerous, but hey, you got your hands dirty. All right, so our pink barn is now pinked. We're gonna wait for that to dry and I'm gonna paint in a grayish color for the roof. This is, what is this called? A silo? Yes, nicely done. Thank you. Anyways, um, we're gonna do that once that dries. This is dry, but I'm gonna move on to this first. So let's do like a, a brownish, maybe it's a log cabin, that's cute. Okay, so let's do for our base layer for the log cabin, some yellow ochre and some burnt amber, umber. And we're gonna paint this light wash of log color. Mm. You're gonna make it loggy? Yeah. How? With wet and dry, I'm gonna do a dark brown over it and do shoot, 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 right. shoot, 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 shoot. Wait, I would do it the other way though, maybe. This or, way? Yes. That would make a lot more sense for a log cabin. Hmm, you're right. Okay, now the truck. I'm gonna use my size two brush for the truck because it's a bit small. And I'm basically just using Scarlet Lake and a touch of cadmium orange for the truck color. And I'm making sure this is not too wet on my brush because I want really cr clean, crisp lines since these shapes are really small. I wanna avoid the wheels and the bumper back here. So those are gonna be black and gray, and then the windows as well. Those will be like a really light gray. Here's the front bumper. I've painted a truck on your channel before. This is true. If you have no, if you're like, what does John Rainey look like? Or you want more of John Rainey for some reason. Or you just want to learn how to paint a truck from a non artist. Uh, yeah, <laughs> or that. Uh, then we'll link to that video. He took over my channel on Valentine's Day. Super duper cute. If you're wondering if it was cute, it was. 
Mm. Very. Yes. Very cute. Trap. See it now? I like that white space that you left there at the top. Yeah, that little, here's the hood moment. Yeah, to show a little difference between you. <sighs> Avoid the bumper. Never owned a truck. Nope. Really digging for things to talk about this tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm mixing up a gray with some Mars black and white gouache. Again, if you don't have white gouache, just add more water to your mixture to lighten it, making it more transparent. I'm gonna paint in the bumper on the truck. Z window. I can paint these right away because the gouache wasn't watery. It's very thick, so it's not going to bleed. Here's a little glimpse of the front bumper. We're going to have a little Christmas tree laying in this trunk soon. It sounds like fun. It is fun. And then I'm gonna do some black for the wheels. I'm just gonna do a circle, an outline of a circle for the wheels so the center is white. Classy. Super classy. Cute. Very cute. And dark, darker an even darker red for some truck detail of the like bumps and ridges on the truck. So I'm gonna add burnt umber to my Scarlet Lake so that it's a little darker cherry red. Got your holiday nails did. I sure did. Good timing for the videos. Mm -hmm. Brake lights. I don't know why I just go <laughs> southern. Brake <sometimes>. lights. <laughs> there you go, cute little red truck. We'll add the tree in a second. Next, let's do some of the church vibe. I'm gonna do a darker cobalt blue for all of my details. Maybe a really dark blue for the door. And then we have some dark green Christmas wreaths and red ribbons. So the wreaths are gonna be the last thing we paint. We're gonna paint in the stairs, the outline of the windows, and then the crisscrossies of the windows and up here, some details. And then once those dry, these windows dry, we'll paint in the wreaths over top. So I've got cobalt blue and burnt umber and just adding more of the pigment than we did for the base layer so that it's darker. Do yellow windows like lit up? That's a good idea. Let me make it pop. Wow. So first we're gonna do yellow for the windows. Make it a little glowy, like Silent Night is being sung mm. inside with the candles. Candles are a blazing. Candles blazing. So we're gonna do a light lemon yellow deep and yellow ochre, touch of yellow ochre on these windows. Line. Neon virgin. 
virgin mother and child holy and so tender and mild sleep and heavenly peace sleep and Okay. Um, Whoa. I think you just got into it. Oh, see, look at how the snow is drying. So I, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. See the stalt, stalt. The salt added a nice texture, which we love. And we're going to add more snow on top of it, too. So I'm going to do this dark blue here for like this beam coming across. I mean, that's the best moment of any Christmas Eve service, am I right? You're right, John. The little candles and the wax dripping all over the place, but you got that little, like, paper. I have a story. Let's hear it. So I was probably seven, six or seven, and my brother was five-ish. My brother was very loud as a child. Everything was loud. And we were at a Christmas... <laughs> A Christmas Eve service. And that's the most beautiful, so like your quiet, everyone is singing the song, the lights, the candles, are, the lights are out, the candles are glowing. And when you blow out the candles, you're supposed to make sure that you don't like tip it over or spray wax everywhere because it's hot. Well, everyone's quiet. We just had this beautiful moment all together singing Silent Night. And somehow my brother like tips the candle over or gets wax on his hand and just screams bloody murder. <laughs> That's classic. It was, yeah, it's a good memory. So this dark blue is just creating the details on the church, outlining, outlining, outlining the windows, the actual building and um, all that. We've got our stairs coming up here with, I'm just going to do a little bit of a lighter blue than what I have been using for these. Like some bricks or something. I don't know. That's nice. What color door should I do? Maybe yeah, like a dark brown. Sure. Burnt umber. Gotta say, I love the glowing lights. Yeah, good, good call. Cameraman kind of nailed it on that one. Yes, this is true. Sleep in heavenly peace. Peace. I'm going to use that same dark brown color for the barn door. Um, what color are barn windows? Black it's with the white? Slats of wood. No. Really? No, I don't know. I mean, I didn't live on a farm. I'm doing white trim around them. I'm just going to do like black and then white. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah. So again, if you don't have white gouache, you'll want to avoid the areas that are going to have the white, but I do have it, so. Or you could do black trim with the white, but. So when you're doing a piece like this, make sure you've got all the time in the world. <laughs> you 
No, but for real. These little like vignette type things really do take some time because a lot of it is wet and dry. So you have to wait for things to dry. I've got a light gray, similar to what we did for the truck. If you were a viewer painting along, Jenna, what would you be, what would you do with this final product? The, fi the final painting? Well, instead of doing it on a nine by 12 sheet of paper, I'd maybe do it on a five by seven so then I can make it into a card. And all the viewers right now are like, Frick! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe, but this is gonna be a snowy roof. And I'm gonna do the black with the white trim, or the black trim, I mean, with the white. You could also give it as a gift. People love handmade gifts. You know what would be really cool and would just take 12 times longer than what we're doing right now? What? This would be a great like December um, page for a calendar. But I mean, they, you also need January through November, but I'm just saying. <laughs> It yeah. looks like a great calendar thing. Sure does. I'm gonna lighten that black on my brush and do some wet and wet for these windows. Got our ski lift. So we got a dark brown here, maybe some black. That's gonna be red. And let's see, we've got our logs that we need to paint. Wait, which way? This way? Mm hmm So burnt umber and some Mars black, still using my size six brush. Logs. Once that dries, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're going to whitewash it. Fluffy snow on the roof. Moment. Um, let's paint in our little Christmas tree. I think he's gonna be like this. So I got a dark brown for the trunk. He's kind of sticking out like that, laying down on the bed and for my leaves or pine branches whatever we've got sap green burnt umber and mars black just kind of using the tip of the brush and flicking it out making sure it doesn't go out on this side because it's laying inside the bed of the truck. Keep it consistent. What? You know, just with like real life and stuff. Mm. It's a good call. Tree. Christmas time. This here whitewash for the barn. This is, a, this is a gouache only maneuver though. Mm -hmm. If I were a viewer and I was painting long and I didn't have white gouache, this moment right here is the moment where I say, 
I'm gonna order me some white gouache. Yeah. We have the gouache I'm using linked in this video. Oh yeah. But also if you don't have it, you could just use a darker color. So like a dark brown and then black if you wanted. Then I'm gonna do some red on the barn mixed with some of that pink that I used. So it kind of is just a darker step and we're gonna do slats. So mixing up a dark gray to then go over the roof. I really don't know what silos look like, but. We're you good. pretty much nailed it right there. Red, maybe a lighter red for my chairlift. Just an outline on the top. Pokemon ball. <laughs> <laughs> I've never in my life watched Pokemon or played Pokemon cards. That was a big thing when I was a kid though. It was, I collected it for about five minutes. Pokemon cards were huge. Little doorknob. Pink. Let's get this road in here. Got my cobalt blue and burnt umber mixture. I'm just gonna use a thick, thicker version here. a dry brush and lighten some of that. Just a smidge. the road. What's in front of the barn, snow? Yeah, yeah, let's do that actually. So you can really see that. So I'm grabbing a lot of white gouache. Again, if you were doing this in watercolor, you would have, have avoided where your snow is going. And we're just a little gray. Just a little improv tree. A little bare, naked, wintry tree. By the old shadow. <laughs> yes. Maybe one over here too. <laughs> <laughs> Some more white gouache, we're gonna go by the church. So gray and white to make the snow look more like snow. And Christmas trees.
if you want some help painting trees. We got a bunch of tree tutorials on my channel. I'll make sure to link to them. They're amazing. They are probably one of my favorites. You know what else would look good here to reference? The Christmas card video we just posted like a week ago, the mm -hmm. Christmas tree lot. Mm. One of the four cards is a Christmas tree lot and that would look good right here too. True form. Got this like silvery blue gray tree color with phthalo turquoise and burnt umber. So you want to make sure that your trees aren't all the same color. So it adds some variety and depth. The ones that are further away and in the background are lighter. So we're going to do some really light blue gray trees up here on the hillside now. Phthalo turquoise, burnt umber, maybe some Mars black. And cobalt blue and lots of water. So we've got our just kind of flicking it around. Your favorite Christmas movie, go. Christmas Vacation or Charlie Brown Christmas, go. I'm surprised you led with Christmas Vacation. You're usually like Charlie well, I Brown was, Christmas. Boom. I know. I was just singing the Christmas Vacation theme song in my head. Oh when you ask that question, so. There you go. Uh, that's probably mine. Christmas Vacation. It's so classic and funny. It's so funny. Miles is loving Rudolph right now. Yes. And Winnie the Pooh Christmas. <laughs> Those are the go-tos in the house right now. He's loving it. Grinch scared him so much the other night. <laughs> the Jim Carrey one, yeah. yeah. Was maybe a bit soon on that one. <laughs> Lips. I love that he's loving Winnie the Pooh, though. Very wholesome. It's so wholesome and cute. And... We he... covered uh, Chris uh, favorite Christmas movies. Favorite Christmas song. Ooh. What's your favorite Christmas song? I don't know. So that... That's hard to nail down. One song. Fall on your knees. <laughs> That's what, mine. What's that one called? Um, holy, holy, oh, holy night. That's your favorite one. Yes, absolutely. Wow, you had that ready so fast. This has always been my favorite. Favorite song? Um, man, I I don't think I. Maybe just nuts. Or... <laughs> oh gosh. I man, I I can't think of one just like right off the top. Oh come, oh come, Emmanuel. It's great, love it. I I prefer the oldies. I prefer yeah, the, me too. The Nats, and the I actually I really like the Elvis um, Christmas album, and Frank Sinatra. I really like. Um, there's something about that really takes me back to our Chicago mm. Christmas days with Frank Sinatra. I mean, just takes you right back to Paisanos. 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 That's the restaurant I worked at. I'm also really hungry right now, so that's I also want pizza. Dangerous. Oh, I want pizza. Uh, I want pizza. Circle back. <laughs> the snowflakes in the sky do look wonderful. magical. Magical. Okay, so we need some snow on this roof. You could also do like a white pen if you had it. I'm assuming that would work. Some sort of inky white pen or a chalk marker or something. Snow on the chin. Okay. <laughs> I obviously don't know the words to that one. Is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. I was walking miles on the beach trail the other day. And someone had a sign that said, Christmas at the beach is better or something mm -hmm. like that. And I was like, no, 
Hmm. It's just ob- you. It's objectively wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you are not allowed an opinion on that. It's objectively wrong. Maybe. It Christmas is better in the snow. And I'm obviously being a bit facetious and silly. I'm just kidding. There's probably some beach people that are like, "Oh my gosh." And I'm just joking. <laughs> but I'm but for me though. I'm serious. Snowy, snowy day. Now I'm gonna do some dots of white gouache to, and then we're gonna call it. You could even do whites, whites, <laughs> white gouache sprinkled all over. Like you were looking out a window and seeing this. Maybe you're all cozy up in a cabin up on this hill and looking down on the village, who knows. All right. You could obviously add a lot more trees and fun things like reindeers or just regular deers, ice patches, whatever you want. But there's a cute little Christmas village. Yeah. Hope you had fun. Thanks so much for watching as I wrapped that up, as we're already set up to do the intros and outros of this video, I realized that I never painted the wreaths on the freaking church. So do that. It's just a green circle with a red ribbon on the windows. I'm bummed about it. But there were just so many details in that painting. So thank you for sticking with me. I know that there was a lot to it. It does require some patience, but the outcome is so much fun and could make a really cute card, could make a really cute gift, or you can just hang it up in your house at Christmas time and cute, cute, cute it up you know? So thanks so much for watching and for liking, subscribing, and commenting on our videos. It means the world. I'll see you in the next one.